This is a show called Gears of the Good Charge where two people play video games. Enjoy! I hit the balls button. What? I hit the balls button. The balls? I meant to, I meant to say, I hit the circle button. I went for balls, Good though. Training, what? <laughs> oh, God. I haven't had a... I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, let me let me reiterate that. What? I don't I don't understand I hit the balls button. I just wanna be the circle button from now on. How do you do that? How do how, how do you do that? How do you mix those up? How do you how you how are you supposed to do that? I'm gonna guess I meant to say circle. I think my brain meant pause. He like, was trying to say pause, but I was like, no. <laughs> balls. No. No. The true path is balls. I want to know. Well, I want to know love is. why you decided to start the episode like that. Because I could. This is my series. I'm going to open it. This with is my swamp. <laughs> okay. I need to tell you a story. It's story time. Every no, hold on. Everybody, shut the fuck up. Listen to the happy jingle Josh is about to put in. And everybody, fucking listen to story time. So um, it's story time. It's story time. Everybody, shut the fuck up and listen to story time. So the other day for kids. So the other day, me, my dad, and my brother, we got we got quite drunk. We got quite tipsy, right? Why the fuck didn't you tell me about this yet? Because. It- <laughs> <laughs> because this happened recently. I, um, okay. <laughs> so me and my me and my dad and my brother were drunk. We're just hanging out. <laughs> and my brother's like, I'm hungry. I'm gonna get something. So I was like, okay, sure, whatever. I hear like I hear him open up the refrigerator because our refrigerator is loud as hell. And then all I hear is, Josh, I need your help. I was like, all right. I run out to the kitchen. I see. Like, they have, like, mini Butterfinger bites now, uh-huh. and it's right in front of it's in his hand, going for his mouth, and he's like, Josh, stop me! Stop me! So, like, I'm running through his hand. I'm going, I take it out of his hand, he's like, thanks, man. For some reason, I was like, I'm gonna be cynical. So I put it in his face, in this voice, Eat me! Ew, what the, what the, the whole fuck? time! Eat me! Dude, you're, you're, you're actually scaring me. So- I don't want this. <laughs> So, <laughs> he falls to the ground, which I think he's laughing, so we're just laughing this off. He turns around on the ground, he says, you did this to me, and he's crying. He's on the ground crying, <laughs> you did this to me. <laughs> oh my god, what? <laughs> he's on the ground crying, going, you freaked me out so bad, I'm crying right now. I made my brother cry when he was blackout drunk. <laughs> and just, to this day, he's like, don't tell anyone. Don't I've tell been, anyone! I've been telling- And you fucking put it out there for over two people to see? I've been telling everyone. Oh my god. Like, so you want to hear what I, how I made my brother cry? You, for one, one thing, one thing. I got, I got three things. Right. I got three things for you right now. One, you are a dick. <laughs> You are a horrible fucking brother. <laughs> Two, you have to invite me over next time you do that so I can stay sober and witness this. <laughs> was... I no no. I need to see this happen next time. I need to go back in time because that is never gonna be as good as you described it. Oh my God. He's on the ground. I see tear literal teardrops coming out of his face, and it's just him going, "You made me do this. This is what you did to me." And, and I was on the- I was just laughing so hard. Okay. And three? And three? <laughs> fuck you! You are a horrible goddamn brother! Holy fucking shit! Oh my, oh my god. Is that what it's like to have a sibling? Because that sucks! <laughs> that best. fucking sucks! It was the best thing in the world! No! That was the best thing in the world for you, but it was like the most horrifying experience your brother will ever have. He's gonna get raped one day, what? and that is still that Butterfinger story is still gonna be worse. Oh my god! And I just tried to, 
it makes me laugh every time I think about it because him seeing my brother cry my brother is like the most like I have never I don't see him cry ever but for some reason when I see him cry it's the funniest damn thing in the world okay I'm gonna go back to point one and three again <laughs> you are a horrible fucking brother <laughs> holy shit Josh I used to think like yeah dude you totally be my bro I don't want you to be my bro anymore. If I were to ever be intoxicated and you would fucking try to torture me and then tell everybody about how I cried, I'd be pissed. Oh my god, it was the funniest thing in the damn world. Shut up, it's not, it's not funny, it's horrible. <laughs> this is what you did to me. You are a, just, just the worst kind of person. My god. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. I, I wish you were dying because that's what you, you deserve to die a little bit inside for being this much of a douche. I'm definitely showing Cody this episode. God, he's gonna fight. You, you know what? No, no, no. You, you need to let him come over to here to my house, mm -hmm. and you need to let him. You need to show it to him in front of me so I can watch him <laughs> kick your ass. He's gonna fight. He's gonna. He's gonna punch you in the face. He's gonna. I, I, I'm calling it. I am calling that he's gonna physically hurt you. And I want to be there for it. I want to. I want to videotape it. I'll put it on YouTube. I'm gonna put it on every other thing that's not YouTube. So the internet and everybody's gonna see you get your butt kicked. I'm gonna punch this guy. I have to punch you instead. Oh, okay. So try to change the subject by talking about the game. Not at all. Real professional, dickwad. I don't know if you guys can tell. The guys watching you, you lovely people. Excuse me. It's it, not you. It's not them guys. Okay. It's them. It is them. It is that person in particular? We do. We're, we're you. Not, we're not you. taking this seriously. You are a great person. Always, Always watch yeah. us forever and ever. Otherwise, <laughs> goblins will eat your teeth. I was literally. Gonna you remember go. that dream where you your teeth melted out of your skull and you couldn't stop it and you looked like a weird zombie thing? Ask goblins. That's because you weren't watching us enough. Goblins drained your teeth out of your skull. So you know, make sure you subscribe. That's your protection. That's your. Protection. Watch yourself. See, I, 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 I love that story. Dude. Goblins also appreciate it when you like and comment about positive things. Tell me your stories about how you mess with your siblings. Yeah, oh, that's a great idea. Tell, tell us your, your horror stories of how a sibling messed with you or how you've messed with a sibling in the description. I swear to God, I swear to, f I, dude, I ordained minister promise here. Like, if I, if I, if I, if I swear to God, like, that is a pretty legally binding contract. I will respond to you, and I will fucking make sure that, that I listen to your story, and I tell you what I think about it. Even if this video would to get a billion views, it's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm, I'm, cond I'm damning myself so hard right now. You're gonna have to keep an eye out for part two of Jack and Daxter. I... I know. I'm, I'm gonna have to, because like there's gonna be three people who say, "All right, here's my horror story." Here's my horror story. And I'll be like, "Okay, I'm gonna comment back to one, and then two, and I'm gonna wait a little bit." The third person who comments kind of gets screwed over, because then I, I'm, you know, it's, it's kind of how it's gotta you be. You wanna see something about this game? I, I can... assume it's about you about to get fucking owned by that dog. Damn! Get wrecked. Yeah. So. It doesn't care. Like you can finish any quest without opening it. I'm gonna hit this egg and watch this. Who's that lady? Where'd she come from? I didn't start no quest with her. But guess what? I just finished it. This game is probably the best thing ever because you don't have to talk to people to start quests. They're just like, eh, you get the deal. If you want to start the quest on your own, go for it. But if this was like your first time through, you'd probably be confused as hell. It's like, why? Why is she here? And why is she saying thank you to me? I don't know. Is that a good or bad thing? That like, I guess it it would be bad if you wanted to be immersed in the story, but it would be good if you want to get past stupid bullshit like going to talk to that lady and then finding this egg. Where if you just find it the first time and you push it, she's just like, oh yeah, thanks, man. I guess it's good for me because I play this game so much that I don't want to start any of the quests. I just want to finish them. And so, so it's not good for most normal people that want to like. Like man, plot. But with me, I'm like, I don't play Jack and Dax for plot. I play it for jump and hit stuff. Really, you don't play it for plot? What? What plot is there? Ah, oh, I made Daxter a weasel. 
Now I gotta make him not. Oh, so he's a weasel now? Dude, make up your goddamn mind here. I'll do whatever I want, man. Why did you not make that bird bomb those chests? Oh, um, because I'm just gonna do that last. Oh! See, because he's trying to shoot me right now, because he's a douchebag. Maybe you're the douchebag. Do you ever think about it like that? I mean, it wouldn't, like, wouldn't bother me. Oh. Yeah. Did that, that open your mind up to, to a few things? Yeah, that you're just a fucking douchebag. I mean, that story I just told you, it just opened your you eyes. You are, so yeah! It's just fucking settled. You are a douchebag and there is no getting around it. I mean, these last couple stories that I've been telling, it's like, I hit my brother with a TV. I did this, I did that. <laughs> Dude, seriously, people are going to feel really bad for your brother, but your brother's actually better off than you. With that, like, the old format we did, like, if you want to know the different formats, like, our older videos didn't have the thumbnails they do now. The old format, I feel like people would be like, oh man, Josh, he, he gets yelled at by Matt so much. And now, like, when they watch this, it's like, Josh is a fucking dick sometimes. <laughs> wow, he really deserved to get yelled at all those past times. Goddamn douchebag, Matt's a hero. I fuck him even though I'm straight. Hey, because my I, I'm assuming most of our audience is male. <laughs> yeah. It's I, either I, it's either the audience is male or it's a dude pretending to be a chick. It's either one. I've had way too many of that on MMOs. Hey man, dude, this is a fucking hot chick. Did you ever play Fantasy Star Online? No, what the hell is that? That is a, that, okay, it's this MMO for, for Xbox 360. It was a very good game. It's a beat em up. And it was like a third person shooter as well. Okay. But the demo lets you play like as much as you wanted without a subscription. Sure. People would be like, hey, I'll send you nude pics for in-game money. What the fuck? So you would... I, I finally was like, alright, I want to see. I had me and my friends there. I gave... I, I grinded up money, found the person, gave him the money. Didn't send me no pictures. So I followed the person the whole time because, like, through the news in that game, it's just like a bubble over your character's head that everyone can see. So I was like, this guy's a phony! The whole time! I was like, this guy's a phony! And he's like, dude, stop following me. I'm like, no! Nudes are nothing! The whole time. Nudes are nothing, man. I gave you my money. Here's here's another thing. Again, you're a giant fucking douchebag. <laughs> this, this this episode is all about how much of a douche you are. <laughs> God, Josh, what the fuck? Like, I am getting disappointed. This is old Josh, though. No, 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 because... No, it's not! That story was pretty recent! I even asked you, why did you tell me this before? Oh, because this fucking happened recently. <laughs> okay, okay, that one was... That one was... Hilarious. Welcome to Gears of the Guitarist, where we talk about 12 minutes of our fucking lives and about 40 seconds of gameplay. Fucking enjoy. Next episode, maybe Josh isn't such a fucking dick. But chances are, he is. Goodbye. Good fucking bye.